Hi, this specific video is basically on how to prepare for CAT on 2R paper. Means how a 3R paper is different from 2R paper and how do you adapt to a 2R paper? What is important, more important in a 2R paper? So difference is, if you look at per minute or per minute, the number of questions in a 2R paper is more than a 3R. Therefore, the time that you get in a 2R paper for every question is much lesser than a 3R paper. I mean, 15% faster to solve all the questions. Technically, to go even little fast, I mean, your accuracy may go down. But here, you're talking about more number of questions. The other challenge out here is because there are more number of questions, you may have to end up leaving more questions, which not a lot of students are good at. So how do you go about tackling it? Challenges. First is, you cannot take too much time to leave a question. So suppose a lot of students I've seen take at least 30 seconds to leave a question. So you read a question, then after thinking about it, you leave it and say you take 30 seconds to leave a question. It totally means 13 minutes of your paper, which is one third of your entire paper is gone just to read the questions. Too much. It's important that when you leave a difficult question, you need to leave it within 15 seconds if possible. 15 seconds is what I would say. Not less than 5 seconds because that means you're not reading the question. I normally recommend students to read the questions, but not more than 15 seconds. That is ample time to read and decide whether some is tough or easy. So have your parameters on which basis you will choose a sum and then go ahead with it. So I think 15 seconds is sufficient in terms of deciding whether a question is easier. That's the first challenge that is faced. You need to decide it quickly. Okay which also means that if you start solving it, you can't wait too much on solving a question. If you feel it lengthy, leave it. Also, in one more challenge is the proportion of questions to be left will be more because there are more questions and you may end up solving maybe similar type of number of questions to number of questions that you end up leaving will be more in proportion as compared to a RIA paper. Normally, people are reluctant to leave questions and they're not sure how to leave and when to leave and what to leave. And they end up leaving easy questions and solving tough questions. So now the challenge is how do I ensure that I leave the difficult questions quickly so that I get time to solve the easier questions. So selecting questions, finding out the easy or tough becomes extremely important in a two hour paper. And that has to be done quickly because if you don't do it, then the time available to solve for each question will be less. So how do you prepare? So normally I would say that one thing that you should do for every question that you either during practice or maybe while writing, identify difficult level of the question within 15 seconds. So before you even start solving, read a question and within 15 seconds, try to identify this sum is tough or easy, make it a habit. So that habit will remain in your mocks and the exam. So once you create a habit and once you're good at it, then that will save half of your work in your exam. Also learn shorter ways of solving because you're going to leave more question, the time available to actually solve will be much lesser for you. And you will not even realize how the time passes. So it is very important that you learn shorter ways of solving. I'm not saying that blindly follow shortcut methods given to you. Most of the shortcut methods given are not even relevant. But look at any ways where you can learn how to reduce your time. For any specific question, if you're taking a longer time, is there a method where I can solve it in a shorter span of time? learn and the method will help you to score better right overall paper strategy i would recommend uh, two strategies but any strategy you will have to go in two rounds that means first round you go through all the questions second round you come back with two round strategy okay because the, normally i recommend two round strategies because it helps you to leave longer and tougher questions because if it's a one round strategy people are hesitant to leave questions also it ensures that you don't leave out if there are easy question in the end okay so because if it's a one round strategy a lot of time you realize you got stuck in a question and you have not even seen the last five questions which could turn up to be very easy so ensure it's a two round strategy strategy one is go through all the questions okay before you select the questions which are there that's one strategy that you can go about it okay so there are 26 questions maybe uh, go to all the questions Solve the easy ones maybe, very easy ones, whichever you get sitters, solve the easy ones and then come back in the second round for the other questions. Strategy two could be, go to six to seven questions in every eight minutes. So keep your time, eight minutes, I'll solve six to seven questions. Eight minutes, I'll solve six to seven questions. So you finish your paper in 32 minutes 
and then you have eight minutes to come back to the second round. Yes. As I said, first round would be to go through all the questions, solve the easy ones, whichever you get easy one, solve it, okay, and then come back to the second round or keep a time limit, six to seven questions for every eight minutes and try to solve. Either of the strategy will do. Thank you.